Palm Islands are true engineering wonders. There are lots of discussions about them sinking or not. Are they really sinking? Let's find out. Can humans build islands out of nowhere? Dubai said, yes, we can. Palm Islands are some of the world's largest artificial islands. When you look from the sky, they create a magnificent view, and they are all man-made. There are many residents living on these islands. Also, the area is a hotspot for tourism. However, there are discussions about whether or not these engineering wonders are sinking. But are they really? This is Engineering Wonders, and let's explore if the Palm Islands are sinking. The Palm Islands consist of three large islands built on the coast of Dubai, named Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali, and Dera Islands. The Palm Jumeirah is the size of 800 football fields in total. It was built with a capacity of 120,000 people. There are retail malls, high-end restaurants, boutiques, and residences on the island. It was built with all natural materials to blend in with its surroundings, and 24 million pounds of sand were used during its construction. The most critical part of this island is a crescent-shaped breakwater that surrounds the island and protects it from the damaging waves of the sea. This 6.8-mile-long wave-blocking structure covers the Palm Jumeirah to prevent the current that the Shamal winds create and protects the island from the erosion of the sand. The whole island is made of over 1 million tons of rocks. The sand and rocks used in the island's construction are enough to build a 6.56-foot-high wall with this much sand, which would encircle the globe three times. There is a 984-foot-long bridge to connect Palm Jumeirah to the mainland. There are underwater tunnels to access the bridge. Only the research and project design process of these islands lasted three years, and the construction started in 2001. After spending approximately $10 billion and having 14,000 workers working day and night shifts, the construction of Palm Jumeirah was completed in 2008. While constructing their foundation, engineers used blasted rocks instead of reinforced concrete slabs. They gathered these blasted rocks from the Hajar Mountains, one of the largest mountains in the United Arab Emirates. Dredging vessels sprayed sand from the seafloor towards the surface. By this method, they extracted 263 billion gallons of sand. The construction of the island continued, taking critical factors into account, like global warming, storms, and possible rising in sea levels. After the breakwater construction was completed in two years, they finished the sand filling process. It is challenging to build something atop loose sand because after an earthquake, the sand particles move and shift, pushing the water between the particles upwards causing the island to sink into the sea. This phenomenon is called liquefaction. To prevent liquefaction, they consolidated the sand using the vibratory compaction method to make the sand firm enough to build the island. Engineers tracked whether the island was shaped like a palm tree through a satellite 420 miles above. After they completed the groundwork, Workers started to prepare for the construction of houses, hotels, and shopping malls. Recently, there have been some rumors of the Palm Islands sinking. Actually, the fact that these man-made islands are still standing today, despite variables like earthquakes, storms, and sea erosion, which occur every day on our globe, is an engineering marvel. A ground surveying company called Fugro NPA announced that the islands are submerged by less than 13 64 inches each year. However, a representative from Nakheel, a Dubai government-owned real estate company, denied all these claims. Head of Environment at Nakheel, Sean Lenahan, said, The integrity of all buildings, utilities, and infrastructure on Palm Jumeirah are testament to the fact that there has been no subsidence. Any settlement of the ground, even as little as 5 millimeters, would generate obvious physical manifestations, including masonry cracking, 
leaking pipes, broken windows, and so forth. He also added, claims suggesting Palm Jemira has sunk by 5 millimeters, as detected by remote sensing satellite techniques, are not possible given that NASA's laser altimeter satellites have an accuracy of only plus or minus 50 millimeters. He underlined the fact that if these allegations were true, there would be cracks and broken windows in the buildings. A Nikhil company spokesman also said, our periodical monitoring survey over the past three years didn't observe any substantial erosion that requires sand nourishment. According to their reports, the point shift on the Palm Islands during the last few years has been less than 25 64 inches each year, which is well within the natural settlement limits for such an immense structure. The point displacements measured at Palm Island in the first few years following construction, less than a centimeter per year, are well within the expected natural settlement range for such a large structure, and such settlement would be factored into the engineering design of the island. Also, engineers calculated the project well and poured the first layers of rock and sand to prevent the island from submerging in water. Then construction companies vibrated the sand until it reached a more rigid structure by a process called vibrocompaction. Engineers also considered the 19 inches rise in the water in case of climate change and the possibility of rising waters beforehand. So all the details were designed and calculated like it was created by nature itself. The Palm Islands are solid proof that engineering can compete with nature. Stay tuned for the next episode of Engineering Wonders next week. In the meantime, check out our other original series.